My grandpa and grandma used to play. I don't know. I'm messing up lyrics, but at this point, lyrics don't matter. What's up? I'm walking from West Virginia down to Tennessee. It's day three. I am in the mountains, guys. I'm in the middle of the mountain range. Day three was going to be tough. I already knew that going in because basically I've been walking alongside the mountain range, just north of the mountain range, walking alongside, and now it's time to cross it. So as you can see, I'm in it. I'm surprised I have cell service because I haven't had cell service. Can you hear that? Total distance, 10.0 miles. Average pace, 21 minutes per mile. I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm trying to repeat what the GPS lady said. So uh, the reason the pace is so slow, I've already stopped three times. Uh, the first time, we had a bad start to the day, man. I woke up, looked out the window, and I woke up by the sound of heavy raindrops hitting uh, the window in my hotel. And I was like, it's like six in the morning. What is that? I'll open the, I opened the curtains and I mean, it's pouring down rain. So good thing is uh, before I came over here, I'd stopped at Bass Pro. I bought me a slicker. You know, like it's got a hoodie on it, or rain, rain gear. Um, and I had bought tent spray, which is like water repellent. You spray it on your tent and it repels water. So I sprayed that all over my running shoes because running shoes aren't solid on top. They have, they have like a mesh thing. And so uh, I sprayed that everywhere. And then two guys from Nashville, Rod and Gator, who are big wig execs with iHeart, they, uh, watch this. Hey! And so uh, they came to help me and, and join the walk. And Rod's been walking with me a little bit, but he's in a, he's got a conference call right now, so he's in the van. But there they are back there. So now I got two cars following me. It's like a convoy. But anyway, they came from a golf tournament. So Gator had golf gear. And he's like, dude, I have golf pants that are water... Proof. I said, well, give that over. So, and they hung over my, my shoes. So, dude, the first mile was cake. I even had an umbrella in case I needed it. I didn't use it. I gave it back to them. But in case I needed it, I had it. Ooh, look at this. I have been seeing signs that say, watch for falling rocks. Not right now. If you guys can just hold off from falling right now, that'd be great. You hear a big rumble, let me know. So, uh, so yeah, so the first mile was rain. I was calling in on the show and telling them how I was worried about all that and whatever, we're past that. It stopped raining, there was a drizzle for about another two miles, but the, the feet started getting a little wet and that's when you start worrying. You're like, oh crap. The feet are getting wet. That means you can have blisters and rubbing and all that going on down there. So I had to stop once the rain stopped, changed my shoes, changed my socks completely. I'm kind of not running out of socks, but I'm running out of clean socks. So I think tonight when I get to our hotel, I might do some laundry and try to do that for the last day. But uh, so here we are, day three in the middle of the mountains, trying to cross the mountain range. We've been dealing with a lot of hills, a lot of like steep, steep ups and then steep, steep downs. Uh, the ups actually just feel like you're at the gym man. you're like on a stair stepper or whatever. What do you call those things? Elliptic, elliptical machines. That's what it feels like. You're just kind of pumping and going. That's no big deal. I mean, I can do that. I could do that going up the, up the mountain or whatever. Coming down, it's just hard on the knees. It's hard on the heels. Uh, Morgan number two is texting me. Eddie, stay live for 30 minutes if you can. Morgan number two, what am I gonna say for 30 minutes? Although, you know, Gator is, at, uh, Rod's here, so he's been joining me. He's doing a conference call now, but he could come up and we can do a little interview session with him. So, you got it, Morgan number two. We'll stay on for 30 minutes, if the signal allows me to. Um, 
So yeah, yeah, yeah. So going down the hill is tough because it's hard on the knees and the feet and everything. I've changed my shoes three times already and I'm 10 miles into my walk out of 22 today, maybe 23. Um, what else? My feet are holding up. The muscles feel sore. Nothing feels pulled. Nothing feels cramped. Thank God for that. Uh, because I was worried about, you know, just muscles just getting tired. But you would be amazed. You would be amazed at what a night's rest can do. I did a cold bath last night. Ooh, let me tell you about that cold bath. Uh, not a cold bath, an ice bath. I filled up the ice tub with uh, the, the bathtub with um, uh, cold water, and then I went to the ice machine and got like three buckets of ice, poured them in there. It was like I was ready for a tailgate, except I was jumping in there. The first 10 to 15 seconds of getting into an ice bath sucks. Like it feels like a thousand bees stinging you. But after that, it feels amazing. I don't know if your whole body goes numb or what. I mean, I, I went waist, waist down, kind of sat in it. It felt great. And I Googled and they said, stay in there for 15 minutes if you can, average 15 minutes. Guys, I sat in a tub full of ice water for 15 minutes yesterday. And I'm telling you, I, feel, I felt great waking up this morning. Not like 100%, but I felt great. Guys, these are all people honking me, honking at me because they either listen to the show or I don't know, they've heard about this walk, you guys spreading the word, but there's so much support out here. There's a guy earlier from Texas who's uh, doing a job here in Virginia. He came out early to meet me on the way, took a picture with him, his name was Hector. Uh, one of the guys here at one of the country convenience stores in the mountains, he said, are you the guy from TikTok? And I said, I guess, I've never been a TikTok guy. I didn't even know I was a TikTok guy, but if you say I'm the guy from TikTok, I'm the guy from TikTok. So that was kind of cool. Hey! Uh, so yeah, uh, I wanted to take a second too. I was talking to Rod on the way, our big wig exec who's in doing conference calls in the back over there. I was talking to him and he was asking me about my foster kids and and uh, it was a good conversation to have because that's exactly why we're walking today or the last three days. Uh, and you bet I have my, my, my boys in mind right now. But a little bit about me, in case you don't know, which you probably do know, but uh, my wife and I became foster parents over two years ago. And uh, we've had our boys with us for that long and we love it. And, at this point, we're really hoping to adopt them. And so I know what it's like for these boys to, to I guess, just feel what they're going through. I, I don't think I'll ever really understand 100%, but I do see it firsthand. I see that they got pulled out of a home that they just weren't being loved. They weren't being taken care of or the parents weren't able to do that or whatever their situation is. And I know this happens all over the country, but um, I think about that and so when I got on the radio and said something so stupid that I could walk from West Virginia down to Tennessee the first thing I could think of was to raise money for the National Angels that support they support foster families foster children foster uh, uh, youth foster all that and uh, I said let's do it we'll walk for them and we'll raise money guys I said I wouldn't do this if we didn't raise $10,000. Y'all are crazy. This morning, Bobby told me we were almost at $90,000. $90,000 to the National Angels. And it's not even like, that, that's great. They're gonna get that money and that's great and they can keep doing what they're doing, but I think too, just talking about foster care. And if you're thinking about being a foster parent, go look into it. I told, I told my story, you know, I was at church and Jimmy Wayne, the country singer was speaking and I was, and I just talked to Jimmy Wayne about this cause I hadn't really talked to Jimmy Wayne about all this stuff. And I said, you came to my church and you started talking about 
how you were a foster kid and if it wasn't for your foster family that adopted you, you wouldn't have the opportunity to, to fulfill your dreams and become that country singer and become that, that influential person that Jimmy Wayne is. And he really is. He's an awesome, awesome, amazing human being. So I got to tell that to his face and I told him too, Jimmy, if it wasn't for you and that, and that speech or whatever, that talk you did at church, I wouldn't even have thought twice about being a foster parent, parent, even though my wife wanted to do it. I've always said no, I always said no. But when I heard Jimmy's story, I said, okay, I get it now. I get that we can provide our awesome home and, and help some, some kid that needs us and maybe just change his life. So that's what we're doing. So you bet I'm thinking about them the whole time we walk. I'm thinking about you guys this whole time that I'm walking. Everyone honking, people that are coming by and putting signs on poles and encouraging me. Uh, Bobby, Amy, Lunchbox, everyone in the studio back encouraging me. Uh, Scuba following me. Mike D who hooked me up with some shoes. Gator, Rod who came out from Nashville to come join me. Everyone, all you guys for donating. George Strait for singing a song and me not really understanding it and thinking I can challenge it. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's, that's pretty awesome. So that's it, but look at this. I'm telling you, it's not bad, guys. Like, I know it's like, wow, this is crazy. My feet hurt, my legs hurt, but you look at this, you stop and look around, you know, what we're walking in, and this is, I mean, this ain't work. This is beautiful. The state of Virginia, you are beautiful. Yeah, Steve said that we're probably in the middle of the mountain range right there. I think it all goes that way, and there's a little mountain stuff that goes that way, but... We're about to go down a deep, steep, steep hill. I don't know, the challenge I've been having is showing how steep these hills are because when you're walking, you just kind of look like, oh, it's a gradual slope. You feel it, you feel it on your feet, they're just pounding, pounding. There he is, there's Rod. Come on, Rod! Oh, hold on, can you see Rod? There he is. Who, who are we talking to? We're live streaming. Oh, right on. Hey, everybody, this is Rod Phillips. Let's go. What do you do, Rod? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> I keep I keep Bobby in line, which means keeping that's, this guy in line too. That's a full-time job. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just telling everyone how it's going. How do you think it's going? I mean, yeah, you yeah. you started this morning. Yeah. What did you think when we when we got to the hotel and you saw it was raining? Uh, the rain was worrisome because it was pouring when we all woke up. But uh, that went away quickly, which kind of helped. Cloud covers keeping it cooler. Yeah. But uh, it goes by a little faster than I thought, but maybe not for you. This is day three. No, it's still, I mean, it's faster now that you're with me. It helps because, to people around. Oh, we're right? just talking. I was telling everyone about our conversation about my foster kids and, yeah. and all that and about being a dad. And, uh, and so, yeah, when you have conversations like that, next thing you know, man, it was like 45 minutes and just went by. Yeah. But how cool is it to have all these people drive by and honk and... I mean, I was telling you, half the people are like, get, get, get the beep out of the way, and the other half are like, hey, Eddie! Yeah, some of them are not doing it to be nice, but most are. Most are waving at us. Yeah, so. So anyway, there's that. We're, here, let's see if you can see that. We're going downhill, pretty steep. You told them down, then, downhill's worse, right? Yeah, I did it's say weird. that. Why? Why do you it, think it's worse? It's the resistance. It, it wears you out. It I'd does. rather walk up. I agree. I, t I told them that going up is like uh, being on an elliptical at, at the gym. Yeah. No problem. You can do that for 30 minutes. But going down, there's nothing like it. You're just down like... It's, uh, it's hard uh, on the joints. Yeah. I have been staying on top of my uh, ibuprofen. Yeah. My wife keeps texting me too. She's like, don't forget your ibuprofen. Stay on top of that. Don't wait till you start hurting. And she's right about it. Uh, I am dealing with... I'll tell you this. I am dealing with a little blister on my right pinky toe. So I had to stop and rewrap that. I don't think it's getting worse, but I, if I think about it, my mind just goes straight to it. And so I'm trying not to even think about that at all. Um, dude, I think tonight, we're trying to book a massage at the, hotel, at the, the, the town we're staying at. 
but I don't know. The scuba says scuba's trying to hook it up. He says he sent a couple of emails out. If I can get a massage today, that would be amazing. I told Scuba, if there's no masseuse, you're doing it. Scuba's in. No, no you're doing scuba's it. Scuba's in. Scuba's the guy. And, and let me tell you, my my butt, Woo. my Dude, butt. That was a nice one, I think. That was a, that was a nice one. Yeah, my, the, I think what hurts the most is my buttocks. So you got you got that right. Scuba's your guy. <laughs> <laughs> you tell Where? him what you ordered from from uh, the grocery store. Oh, pickle juice. Eddie started walking. I said, what do you need? Water. Makes sense. Bananas and pickles. Yes. Water, hydration. Water, hydration, bananas, potassium. Yep. Honestly, I've been doing Googling on like things for stuff like this. But you guys are sending me all these tips on like, ooh, do this. Epsom salt. Uh, make sure you elevate your feet when you get to the hotel. And then you, some of you guys, you smell that? It stinks. Dead animal Woo. for sure. Oh, we've seen a lot of dead animals. But we won't talk about that. Be respectful to the dead animals. But uh, yeah, so uh, you guys, some of you guys have been saying that for cramps, because I am worried at this point, day three, yeah. lots of miles. I, I mean, if I cramp up, you're talking about game over. Like poss that, that possible game over. So some of you guys are saying like, ooh, drink pickle juice. I bought pickle juice. Haven't drank it yet. Yeah, might, you might want to get on that. <laughs> do I do I drink it before? Oh yeah. I mean, or do I? No, no, no. I think you should start drinking it. Oh really? Yeah. I used to drink pickle juice as a kid, and my mom would always say, "Stop that! Don't do that! It's not good for you." But have you heard of picklebacks? <laughs> you know who told me about picklebacks? I, I couldn't imagine. <laughs> you know who bought me a few picklebacks? Yeah. What is it? What is a pickleback? Pickle for all for all you kids out there. Yeah. Kids, turn it uh, under 21. Turn off. Uh, pickleback is a shot of pickle juice and a shot of typically whiskey, Jameson. Yeah. You sort of do them together. Yeah. Do you like Irish car bombs? I don't mind them. I don't love them, but they're all right. Do you like Fireball? Mm, not as much as most people do. When we first moved to Nashville, everyone was talking about Fireball. I think I think that was kind of thanks. Oh, hold on. GPS lady's talking. 11 miles. Okay. Average pace, 21 minutes. 20 min 21 minutes a mile. All right, whatever. I mean, I, it's only 21 minutes a mile because I, uh, I haven't stopped the GPS when we take breaks. Right. It's all good. Oh, looks like someone's waiting for us. Oh. Uh-oh. Look, she's got her phone out. She's ready for a picture. Do you send Scuba to check that out before no. you get down here? No, Scuba just All right. gets ready in his own way, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> but they look like nice people. Okay. Famous last <laughs> words. That's, I'm telling you, that's what Scuba's been doing. Every place we've been, like, dude, this is like a hot, this is like a movie. I'm like, oh god, it's, please, let's not, let's not make it like a movie. Let's just make it like a good movie. But he sees like an abandoned building. And he's like, oh man, that'd be a great scene for a horror movie. I'm like, all right, let's, I don't want to talk about that. All right, we're going to, I'm going to video them while they video me. Oh, they look sweet. I'll wave to them. There you go. See, they look nice. I'll keep you guys on the live stream while we talk to them for a second. I feel bad though, because I don't want to stop for too long. I, know. I do want to talk to them, take pictures and do all that, but not the best time for a know. stop. No, it's not. They did pick a good spot though. We're kind of at a flat area. Hello! Are you all stranded? You guys hang out here much? Really? What's her name? Uh, Carrie Maynard. Carrie. Okay. She lives to y'all every morning. Well, I'm live streaming, so the whole world's watching, right? Real quick, make sure they're safe. Yeah, please, Scuba, make sure they look they look sketchy to me. <laughs> we live right up here. When you get to Green Gate Temple, we live in the right farmhouse. Okay. When you come to the red light, we're right there on the way. I love that. Well, tell her thank you. 
Tell her thank you so much. You want to do pictures? Yes, hey, thank you for stopping. I appreciate it. Thank you. Here. Hold this too if you can. Here we go. Here. I'll take one like this too. You want to do one like this and get a shot here? She's going to be so jealous. I know. I know. <laughs> Here, let me okay. Sorry, guys. Hold on one second. This is a sign that if you're in the area, stop on by. You can meet Rod. <laughs> That's awesome. Rod, Rod signing guitars at 3 p.m. <laughs> the bottom of the mountain. Rod signing guitars. Kissing babies. Go checking Gator. See how he's doing. Everyone, I want you to meet a guy. His name is Gator. Gator. What up? It's B team number one. Oh, hey, here we go. Right <laughs> here. Let's go, B team. Let's Woo! go. These are our saviors today. Come to take care of us. Eddie Foot Rubs. That's why I'm here. Eddie Foot Rubs. Whatever it takes. Eddie, something about rubs. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Leave it to your conference calls. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let me get back to my calls. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Huh? Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool, yeah. Uh, that happened a lot of weather. We'd have people yes. stopping constantly uh, doing this. Yeah. Really cool. So cool. Heck yeah. All right, give us back to Eddie now. The people, you, they don't want to see my face. They want to see Eddie's face. Here he is. Here's Eddie. <laughs> All right. See y'all. Y'all be safe. Okay. They were sweet. Their daughter and their son-in-law live in, uh, does that work? Live in Nashville. Oh, there's Rod. I left Rod behind. Whew. That really fuels me, man. When I meet when I meet people like that, like they're just taking time out of their busy day to meet up. How cool is that? That was neat. That was good. You're so sweet. So yeah, I'm not I'm not doing the pickle juice. So I'm oh back to the pickle juice. I'm not I'm assuming it's because of the salt and vinegar. I yeah, like some kind of replenish. So I got sunflower seeds. That does make sense though. Yeah. You're sweating a lot. You need to replenish that salt. Did you did you get sunblock? Yeah. Thankfully. Uh, I don't need it. Well, you don't need it. I don't need it. No, I, I do. It's just right now, it's a lot really overcast. Sun came out for a second, but then now the clouds are back. Here's another thing when you're walking, you don't realize that these stripes are a lot bigger than you think. <laughs> when you run over them in the car, it's like, oh, that's just a little da -da 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 -da. No, they're wide. What'd you say? Like, that's yeah. 10 inches wide? Yep, a foot. A foot wide? A foot. Also, if ever I'm on a Family trip, car breaks down, guess who's walking? Yeah. I realize that I can just walk it. You were, like seriously, you, you break, the car breaks down, you're like, what am I gonna do? Call AAA? Start hoofing it. It, it. I mean, you might as well walk, it's not that bad. Not bad. Let me run something by you, Rod, real quick. Yeah. If I complete this, If, I know I will, but if. You think George Strait will like call me or something? That's a great question. Like, I feel like we need to help. Or, or, or what if I, how about this? What if I act like I'm not gonna make it hmm. and I'm really yeah. struggling, but if yeah. George calls me. I think we need something like that. We need, a, <laughs> we need an angle. And then, and Me then too. if I complete it, then we can get Lunchbox to do another challenge. Amarillo by morning. Yeah. Where he walks uh, from San Antonio to Amarillo in one it, by morning. Mm. Is that a long way? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but he talks so much trash. Yeah. Bring it. Come on. You know what he would say? I could do it. Yeah, I could, no, he no, no, he'd make some excuse up. I would, but I'm I got kids. <clears throat> I can't. What does that say? Oh, I can't. 
Sorry, I'm trying to read some of the comments, but I can't see them. That guy was trying to get somewhere. Woo! Look at that. We just, not that van that almost hit me, but look at that mountain that we went across. It's we really cool. did walk across that mountain. Yeah, we did. I'm not I mean, joking. On, on a road, but. Well, yeah. But I'm not joking. We walked across that mountain. And I think we have more mountains to cross. It's not the only one. But we are headed into a little civilization over here. There's like a auto shop or something. We, we see some houses. There's people around. That's always good. So there's some stretches where there's nothing. Although, Rod did stop into a little country store. Right, Rod? Uh, it was great. And uh, well, the guy at the cashier, he said that... He said... He, he asked said, if I was the guy from TikTok. No, no, no. He goes, is that the famous people walking? <laughs> I said, oh, I don't know how famous they are. He goes, oh, heard they're big on TikTok. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. <laughs> That's and what I, I was said. referring to earlier. TikTok. I just, I don't get TikTok, but hey. I'm posting. Apparently you're being Let's on try TikTok. It. Let's try it. I mean, some days I'm like, do I just dance like Morgan number two? Is that what I should do? <laughs> like, like, should I try to jump into my Jeep with my legs first? Like, what do I, what do I do here? I guess, I guess the answer is just be myself. So here we are, being myself, walking for Foster Care, Bobby Bunch Show, National Angels, George Strait, all the above. George Strait's probably thinking, like, what an idiot, <laughs> right? What was he thinking? <laughs> I didn't mean it. Yeah, I know, he didn't mean it. He's like, I didn't even write it. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool, look at this. So we are about halfway into our walk today, right? Halfway? I think you're more. A little more than halfway? Yeah. What time is it? One o'clock. One o'clock. That's Easter. good. That's good. So it took, we left at what time? Nine or 11 or, or 10? 10. 10. Okay. So that's three hours? No, no, you're, you're Three hours? Dude, we're really, hauling. Your pace is amazing. Wow. Yeah, how would you compare this walk? Like, is this like, I, I told people in the morning that it was like uh, the power walkers at the mall. Oh, Sheriff, we, we got cops. Uh, power walker at the mall is probably really close. Right? Yeah. I mean, obviously we're not pumping our, our arms. Right, we, we, but if we did this, now we look like we're at the mall. What do you think's happening in that conversation over there? Oh, no. He doesn't have his lights Trouble. on. Trouble? Turn the lights on, man. Yeah, they, they're kind of like, mm -hmm. they kind of just do things the way they want to over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Let's see if he talks to me. No, nah, he don't want to talk to me. Honestly, we, we've dealt with this every single day. They're just really making sure that everything's okay. Except last night, I didn't tell you this. Last night when we were getting into Lebanon, uh, a cop pulls us over. Two cops, they got backup. And, and they said, and they said they got a call of a feller walking down the road mm -hmm. and a car following them. <laughs> and I said, yeah, that's right. Arrest this man. <laughs> were they worried about you? Uh, I mean, they said they were worried about the, because he said specifically, I don't want people following, you know, if someone's walking on the road, I don't want anyone following them. I don't want them to get hurt. So I think they were, I don't know. Let's be real. They probably got a call of like some suspicious activity going on. But they were nice about it. They were real nice about it. Every, every law enforcement and every time we've been in has been awesome, asking us if we need help. So that's really cool. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up. I'm going to focus on my walk. I still haven't listened to any music. Focus, Eddie. Man, like, it's crazy. But you know what? I don't need music. I did hear on the show today a little Made For You, a little Jake Owen, a little Aldine, a little Luke during the commercial breaks. 
So that was cool, but that's really the extent of the music I've been listening to out here. Uh, thank you guys again. Thanks for watching. A George Strait update? No, there's no George Strait update. I'll check my DMs here in a minute, but I don't think that George Strait DM'd me. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much again for all the encouragement, all the donations, all the support. And uh, everyone says stuff like, oh, you're so inspiring and all, but really I'm just, I'm just doing what I do because I'm a dad, I'm a foster dad, I'm a dad. And if anyone has that, if you've been struggling with that thought like, ooh, should I do something like that? Hey, look into it. Maybe you can be a foster parent. And you can also donate to the Foster Angels, whatever. Or you can just watch this stream and follow us on... Did you just... Sorry, did I curse? <laughs> what, did you see a snake? Me. I, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> Honestly, I think it was a stuffed animal, but for a second it, it looked... <laughs> I think it was a mosquito and he got scared. All right, guys. We'll catch up with you later. I'm surprised we got cell service here, so we're going to walk a little more. I'll go live once we're kind of on the other side of this mountain. I do remember on Sunday when Steve and I were driving towards the starting point, we were going downhill a lot in the car. So I'm assuming at, at some point we're going to be climbing. Is that it up there? Might be right here. Yeah. We are about to turn and go uphill. Woo! And so, the sun came out. All right. Yeah. Thank you. It's time to get some sunscreen and all that. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later.